Uh, welcome to Pantech Solutions. In this video, uh, we are going to see demo of uh, 3D brain tumor segmentation using deep learning MATLAB. Okay. So, uh, like uh, we are going to cover up uh, how 3D image processing works and what are the toolbox uh, required for processing 3D images on MATLAB and uh, like how to train the network using deep learning networks, what are the steps there in the deep learning and finally, uh, how to segment the 3D brain okay, uh, using the deep learning. So that's and uh, how to compare the uh, accuracy by using ground truth, uh, the ground truth uh, output as well as the uh, network predictor output. So we are going to compare and uh, finally like we are going to conclude like what would, be, what would be the future work for this 3D brain tumor segmentation. Okay. So this is what we are going to cover up in this video. So let's go for the uh, MATLAB. So, first, the first thing is like 3D image processing. Uh, it is it is a visualization and processing and analysis of 3D images. Okay, uh, like where you could do a transformation or segmentation or, or any morphological operations for further understanding about the about images. Okay, so that's what 3D image processing is. So MATLAB supports 3D image processing, uh, which has where you could import the 3D images and the visualization like rendering volumes to render the 3d images or to cut the 2d slices and to map the values on the 3d coordinate systems it also has uh, geometric transformations image registrations algorithms and filtering and enhancement algorithms and segmentation and region analysis algorithms okay and uh, coming to the uh, visualization like you you could use the volume viewer app on the matlab to view the slices of 3d images and uh, the deep learning toolbox has the 3d image processing uh, libraries like the first thing on deep learning is you have to prepare the data sets you have to prepare the ground truth once you prepare the data sets in the ground truth then set the training parameters uh, build train create the layers of the neural network uh, build the layers and train the network okay and finally test the network so these are the steps in the deep learning so pre-process like this this project has 484 training volumes uh like where 400 images for training and 29 images are used for validation and 55 images are used for testing okay so for the first thing is you have to create the folders for the training create the folders for validation and create the folders for testing and you separate the uh, images the volume images as well as the ground truth the second step is to create a random patch extraction data store to create a data store for trading okay so the patch size is the image size is 132 into 132 into 132 okay so patch per image is 16 and mini batch size is and set up the layers once you create set up the unit segmentation layers like create the layers for 3d unit segmentation you uh, number of classes tumor as well as normal it's, it is two a number of channels four and prepare the augmentation data augmentation training data sets okay. so augment the training data uh, by transforming the data okay, and using the augmentation layer like augment and crop layers and set this training options like what kind of uh weight initialization methods you choose like adam method or sgdm method and what is the max epox and what is the uh validation frequency mini batch size everything you have to configure on the training options okay and then you just go for training the network you just train the network so i'll show you the demo i'm not going to run the training process as it's going to take more time okay just go for matlab so for the first thing is to change the path once you change the path you run the main program okay so i have already developed the gui graphic user interface so you have to select the uh, 3d images as well as the ground okay so once once you run this program like you will get the pop-up like this just load the volume okay so i just load the test data sets and the label data sets And click segmentation it will take some time like it it is better to run this program on a gpu based laptop click segmentation and you have to wait 
So the output will be displayed on this static text. The accuracy will be displayed here on the status bar. If you could click training to train the network, so it now usually takes like 12 hours of time to train. Okay, if you run on a GPU based laptop, if you have a normal uh, laptop, it will show you the memory error, okay, out of memory error. So it is not possible to run on a normal 8 GB RAM laptop. So it's recommended to have a GPU based laptop to run the training process. So the output is displayed on the uh, status bar, like you have the ground truth output and the network predictor output. Okay, so the, it has the accuracy for volumes and tumor. Okay, this is for background. So it has 85% accuracy for identifying the tumor, whereas for the background, it has 99% uh, accuracy. Okay, so if you check out this, this is a dice graph, accuracy, dice accuracy. And uh, like you could compare the, uh, this is the ground truth label volume, and this is the network predictor label volume. Okay. So you could drag and drop and check out. So if you want to buy the source code or if you want to modify the source code, you could reach us by clicking the link in the description box. Or uh, like if you want to learn MATLAB, we have a MATLAB course like where we teach from basics. Like we have covered up image processing, video processing, deep learning, machine learning. And nearly we have covered up around 10 plus projects on this. Totally a 45 hour session. So you could find out the detailed description, detailed curriculum in the, uh, which is in the description. And you could sign up for this course. So thank you so much for your time. See you on the next video. Until then, bye-bye. Take care.